All right, there we go again. Oh goodness! For a second, there the screen went black and blank and whatnot. Okay, so how's our land is growing, and we are still working hard on trying to get our borders extended in a way and shape and form. And I sent these guys back to gather their supplies again, so we can once more set out to wage war in the east. So wage war in the east we shall. Uh, we will just walk that way and see if we can arrive in time or something. Oh. Very good, that's something, that's something. Uh, I don't want these, so who should have them? You should have them. And you are part of this thing of the four. Do I have the money for it? 125. We need to be a little bit careful here. With the Empire title still waiting for us. Aha! We can create it now. So, of course, before we do anything else, we will create our very own empire. The Empire of Kanem Bornu. Which I know nothing about, but we shall create it indeed. And thus we have secured, at least for now, uh, our succession. And I hope that we will not be able to expand too fast, too quick into other empires making it possible for a second empire title to be created. So, um, confederate petition, that, that is our primary issue still. Uh, let's see about this, uh, this duchy here. It doesn't need to be a duchy for now, it can just be a count. That's perfectly fine, but we still have our war over there, so now that all this is ours, we can just move our troops this way. And... Well, I'm proud. We've done it. We have created the first African empire. Is it though? Let's check real quick. It looks like indeed it is the first African empire. All the others are kingdoms. So we are the most secure in our position. And if you haven't played a lot of Crusader Kings 3 and you just stumbled on this and for some reason you're watching episode, I don't know, 7? And now I just start talking about why this is good. <laughs> You're gonna be in for a treat. Oh, I like the the image here. I like the the palm trees and whatnot. That's really cool. So why is it good to be an empire? Now, um, with the succession laws being as they are, it means that we do not actually need... Uh, peasants, they will definitely... No, not... Uh, huh. What I expected them elsewhere. Right. Do we have troops to raise yet? I don't think we do. Uh, yeah, there's some. Okay, good enough to deal with the rebels. And you guys are standing around kind of uselessly. Right. So, point being... With the empire created, uh, only kingdom titles below us would be the given away. Well, not really given away, but yeah, inher inherited by someone else. I don't, why? Why am I so? Uh, why am I failing so hard on trying to describe this? I don't know. Well, we are unmarried. It's not really an issue in my perspective. I don't care. I'll not try and take care of it. But now we are free to expand every which way. These other kingdoms. Now, now we get to the point that I wanted to make. These other kingdoms around us are all going to fall apart every time there's a succession. Our empire will remain sort of kind of steadfast for a good long while. So that's really good. Our little... Uprising is taken care of, so we can send our troops back home. Okay, let's check our realm. We are a tribal empire, yes we are. 
succession is the same. Can't really do anything. We don't have any sort of experience in this way yet. And as you can see, we will be losing the kingdom of Igbo Benwe and the kingdom of Khanum to this daughter here. Well, our, our daughter will lose all that. But that's okay. Kingdom of Hauzalan stays at home. And everything that's just under the empire, not under the kingdom. Still stays in the family. Powerful family. So how much money do you give me for attacking me, you fool? Obviously they didn't actually attack me. They just attacked here and they were unfortunate enough for me to take over. So, uh, back to conquering and growing and expanding. So these are 2000... 2000 nothing is what I call them. Oh, invade kingdom. Right, we still don't have enough. Uh, we could get this dirty thing. The subjugation we can't do because we have done our one subjugation. We are free. Uh, these claims are nothing. Okay, let's check all these other things here. What we got? I mean... These are not terrible claims. They're not fantastic. But they're also not terrible. Should push this. I mean, it's one county only. I'd rather go for multiple in one go. But they have 5,400 due to their alliances. Okay, let's find some weaker targets, shall we? 2,000 something. Well, that's really ter- oh, that's what's the wrong one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, not super ideal, but I suppose it will do. Let's just move this flag here, raise all our troops. And of course we have to walk over there, so that wasn't really even sensible to raise him there. So what I actually wanted to figure out is how do we become feudal? Non-tribal armies suffer a supply limit penalty in hostile tribal territory. Hmm. How do we become a feudal empire? Right, I don't think there was anyone who would give us prestige. Now they all cost us prestige, so we are still not for that. New faction created against us. Understandable, somewhat. Let's see how much our vassals hate us currently. Quite, but they also want jobs. Maybe we should slow down on the offensive wars. Seems to be a modifier that now means something. Okay, let's go here. Whole body, that is that is a fantastic trait. Even more health and fertility and less stress. Alrighty. Let's go. Uh let's set our dude to deal with domestic affairs. Now it's not really good. Okay, let's check if you can't. Ah, oh, they already have seats. They just delete us. Okay. Will we be faster? Yes, you can see the power of the Onaga already in full 
extent. Okay, this wasn't enough, so we will now have to go fight again. Or at all, because I don't, I don't actually know if we have fought them yet. There we go, that's that. We shall disband our troops. Ah, for a second there I was a little bit confused because uh, why exactly is this as it is? Um, who do we give that to? You. You can have that. And you can have that. Sound great. Sound amazing, right? I know it does. It's just so good. Okay, we come for the county. And we also come for this county. And we move our flag a little bit over to where we... Well, actually, we can just move it here. We don't even need to cross a river at all. Just go like that. So they are sieging us over here, but as I said, with the Onagas on our side, we should be better off. It's actually pretty equal. Huh. I am visiting one of the small rivers close to the chieftain of Daura. As I am about to quench my thirst, a local woman resolutely positions herself between me and the river. The nerve! There's a crocodile in the water. Okay, so we could get some county investment. Or she joins our court. Or we get some small health boost. Uh, yeah, let's get some development and stuff going. Sounds about right. Sounds like a plan. My Chancellor has proven himself highly capable. There are some projects I would like to undertake. Um, I am much more qualified to deal with this issue. Uh, or he could get 20 opinion of us. For about 10 years. Okay, totally. Take the reins, Nikale. Go be a vassal worthy of us. See, it does still make sense to read about it a little bit and not just blindly click the thing that you think gives you the best options. Because it very much might not do just that. Okay. I can grant you a vassal. Sure. Let's not have weird vassal thingies going. So I'm not going to create those kingdoms because potentially the, uh, the kingdom titles are going to be created for me upon succession. So I don't need to spend anything on those. I also don't get anything out of them, but... Oh, I don't need to create them either. Well, I'm impressed. They're actually as quick as we are with our troops and people, so now we need to catch them. And we'll just... Will we keep this? Uh, eh, there we were. You... What, we don't have a control issue here? I think we have a control issue here. It looks like we have a control issue here. Where did he go? Oh, there. Let's go kill his army before he takes more stuff. I would prefer he didn't. Can we? F yep, there we go. Got him. So now we just take this. We don't even need to take back our own land. It's fine. Just take his. We are overwhelmed by stress. 
Apologies now, please repeat your story. I want the third stress level, I think. Just to get that... Uh, to get that thing. Achievement is what I mean. Oh no, our chancellor is dead. Long live our chancellor. There you go, lady. She is of our house. A whole lot of factions are being created against us. That's suboptimal, as you might say. I wonder if my vassals will extend the realm. Sometimes vassals can be very proficient at extending the realm. And I still would like to know how we switch over to... Uh, how do we... Ah! Independent tribal rulers may settle becoming... wait. Tribal rulers with non-tribal lieges may settle. Yes, he shall be our friend. Did we win? That is a ding for yes. So let us stand these guys down. And onward we go. A little chiefdom here. Wow. That's almost sad. Oh, they have way more than I figured. How do they get all these people? Probably mercenaries. Yes, the tourniquet, quickly. Olima is our friend, we have a strong hook on him. Good gracious. Okay. Wards get additional skin. Cultural fascinators progress. Oh yes, please. Thank you. And... Kding? Kding? There we go. Kding. Let's disband. And... K2. Can get the whole thing. Okay, let's check real quick with our vassals how much they hate us. Minus 84. I mean, that's quite a bit. Hmm. I think we need to consider these a little bit better. <laughs> How long does this hold? The offensive war thing. Being the main attack in a war will gradually cause your vassals to dislike you after six months. Once no longer such a war, the penalty will slowly decay. Uh, yeah, I'll come join your party. Let's have a feast somewhere. And sure, let's talk about the fascinating subject. Are you important at all? Oh, you're my friend, so 
don't really need you to like me even more. Um, how do we settle? How do we become feudal? Is it maybe a decision? Adopt feudal ways. Ah, there we go. Bori is an organized faith. You have absolute tribal authority. As all tribal era innovations. Okay, so we're not allowed as of yet to do that. I don't think we will get enough to reform our faith. And I don't think we're I don't think we're there yet. So how long does it take to decay that offensive war thing? Minus 82. Let's see who hates us the most? All these you. But I can't really help it at all beyond, you know, not fighting so many wars. Yes, yes. Um, okay, let's increase this then. We need to have absolute tribal authority anyway. So we might as well pass this. Since this is usually where you get your rebellions from. So it might be a good idea to push this up a little bit. <laughs> okay, uh, right, we have a whole bunch of enemies here sitting around. So we will move our flag homeward and defend against those rebels come. Oh, we got a good amount of troops by now. Look at that. Can even almost afford them. <laughs> That's nice. All right. So we have Destroyed the peasant rabble. Very good. I feel like I want to take this here. Just to kind of cut them off. But we cannot. Because we don't actually have enough prestige. Okay then. So we will be stuck a little bit on our expansion train. Uh, let's invest at home then. Rana tribe. Mm. Let's go for markets where we can. Oh, that's it. Unshakable faith in Bori. I want the learning lifestyle. Experience. So how are the fascinations? We are in the tribal area, so we need to go here. Oh, these are blocked for tribal government, so we can't even get out of this. Oh, okay, that's a, that's an important information that I didn't really realize until now. Okay. Hmm. Okay. There's some battling. Don't think it's my people against anyone though. Come on tribes. As you can see the Kingdom of Sahara had has a 
moment of succession, they immediately fell apart a little bit. So we're in a pretty decent spot. Increased development, county efficiency, definitely. I think we need to really push for Scholar with all the ones that we get down the road. Just to make sure we get out of this uh, technological deadlock. Well, there's a whole lot to settling as a, as a feudal. There's really much to it. Interesting. Okay. So let's check those uh, decisions here again. Unite Africa. Completely control the region of Africa. So all of this, probably. Does that count this stuff here over here as well? I, I would assume. Okay. Um, Consecrate bloodline, no, adopt feudal ways. This is what we want. Organized faith. Worship and practices are more organized. Unreformed pagan faith can become, while other faiths are always considered organized. Okay, so this we need to do anyway. So that should be our kind of highest thing. And we could reform it right now. We could just click this reform and then be done. Uh, I don't know exactly what we would change. What would we change? Uh, each ruler can only create or reform the faith once. I mean, let's just reform it. Only 7 out of 16 vassals will convert. Okay, sure. Let's reform the faith. Oh. Okay, so that changed our succession as well. At long last, I've managed to gather every important Magidia in the world together so that they can discuss our beliefs and establish an official doctrine to guide our faith into the future. These Bori Magidias are encouraging cooperation and tolerance even towards non-believers and have requested the aid of the spirits to help guide the faithful through these turbulent times. The Bori Magidias have chosen Safiatu as their new inner, who will determine religious doctrine and arbitrate in a faith disputes for the entire Bori world. The world... We'll see that Bori favors us. Okay. Um, succession law change, right? So let's check this out. Uh, what do we lose on succession? What is it? Okay. So our grandson is our player heir, which I don't fully understand. Ah, well, okay. So he was our heir. He died. So his son now becomes our heir. I get it. Okay. He's he's terrible. He's infirm and the child of a concubine. So we will just go ahead and murder him. Because we don't want to play as him. Uh, but we will, of course, lose four titles in succession. So we would lose that kingdom, this kingdom, but it would go to various people. So that's okay. All right, good stuff. So um, this is one of the things we needed to do. Uh, we have reformed it, and now what we need to do is convert all of Africa to it. So our dude here is going to do nothing but reform old Bori to new Bori. That's that's all we're going to do. So we, this, this will take us forever. As you can see, four years per county. This will take forever and ever and ever. But we know a trick. Well, somewhat of a trick. What we will do is we will renegotiate releases and just convert 
like that. So we will just send a whole bunch of people back out into the world having our new, well, reformed religion. Sadly, there's no general option for this. Let's put a check mark here so we know how far I need to scroll down. And that's how we'll do it. Okay, we can't get you out. I can't even do that. Uh, so this is what we do. We just demand conversion everywhere. Should probably also do other things if we can actually do it. Boom. Like we should ask, renounce claims and stuff. Just to make sure no one does weird stuff. Okay, he's already talking to us. Oh, you have a whole lot of claims there. He won't do it. He won't do that. I know it's the same dude. Why don't I always click on the same dude twice? All right, so now we've sent a whole bunch of people out there in the world to convert. And we will now check through our vassals as well and make sure that there's no one we can demand conversion of who might actually accept. Let's see what they might want for the conversion, but we will definitely go out and ask. If they don't, they don't, but um, if we don't ask, they will definitely not. And at least at one of them we do actually have a hook. They probably are going to tell us off, but some might just go along with it. There we go. Now we send all these people out. 80 gold. We have it. Another 80 gold. And we increase our stress as well. Okay, one of them took the thing as well. Yeah, more stress. Uh, sure, go on. Courteous guests, sure. Let's see what our offensive war, minus 63, okay. Right, so this didn't work out well, trying to kill our heir. Can we get an agent in here? We'll just use the hook to get her into our scheme. Okay, we can bribe and use a hook. Which is head of house. Right, okay, look! Look at us finally using some of those mechanics in this game. For all this time. Yes, we will map the surroundings. But she talked about the wealth, so now there are suspicions, I would assume. Alright, perfect. Okay, we can now go to Holy War, which we cannot afford because we spent everything. But, that makes us uniquely powerful around here as a reformed faith in between all old unreformed faiths. Let's see, okay, so there's some old Bori, but we've convinced a bunch of people to join Bori. The new Bori. I like that this is just old Bori. I like that. 
And we are the only Boris around here. Over there are the Coptics. Oh. Yeah, we'll come. We'll, we'll become an herbalist. Definitely an herbalist. We're not doing too great health wise. For our, Wow, we are 73. We're doing really good health wise. If only we weren't so stressed. Okay, let's do something about our stress level, shall we? We'll write down our thoughts. Which no, does that. We will hold a feast. Check what we can build. Um, now we'll, <laughs> we'll go back on the stress again, because at the end of the feast, we will lose some of the stress. Okay, we didn't. That wasn't exactly how I planned it. Let's have a hunt. We're brave, so that takes a whole lot of our stress out. Okay, so we are fine again. Poacher training. The animals mine along with the fines for their lives. So this can go... That's probably going to go bad for us. Let's go the bad route. Oh no. Poaching outrage. Popular opinion. Minus 30. Goodness. What a disappointment. So what else can we do? Pilgrimage? Don't really need that. But in terms of health, we're kind of decent now. She is looking good for age. I don't think we will be able to kill our uh, heir here. Before the time is up. Learning per level of devotion, plus two, not bad. This will be difficult. This will be very difficult. Okay, let's see. You... Who's your heir? Great grandson. He will become Bori. Not old Bori. Am I old Bori? No, I can't be old Bori. Okay, let's see if we can kill him. Bon appetit. Okay, we become a kinslayer and a murderer. We lose a level of devotion because people definitely know what the heck we did. Um, yeah. So that's not great, but we have a new player heir. Our great granddaughter is our player heir for whatever reason. Um, we will attempt to convert her faith. We can't. All right. Demand conversion, and we will use our hook as well. And she will have the money, so she converts. So she really hates us. For good reason. So what are you? Are you anything good? Child of a concubine. It's charming though, so right now you're not much of anything. It's okay. What do we lose here on succession? Still four. Which ones are these? Igmerbia? 
So this one and this one we lose. All right, and of course, a bunch of kingdoms. I mean, all right, we've done a whole lot today. And I think we'll leave it off at that. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, it was a pleasure having you and I hope you do return and join us on more adventures in Africa, trying to conquer everything and everyone. Oh, we can do, oh, wait, 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 wait a moment. Who are you fighting? Ah, oh, you're fighting them and you're losing. Holy war for the chiefdom of Igbo. That's small fry, my friend. You're going for small fry. Let's see what we can do. Kingdom. Now, don't have enough there. No one has really good claims, so what can we do? Could just holy war for that thing here. That's 200. Don't we have something in more interesting to holy war for? Could invade this kingdom? No, we can't. Can't holy war there either because these are bori as it is. And we don't have enough prestige to push this, but that would be really cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, you are big. Let's see what's the biggest chunk that we can... That's not a lot. <laughs> That's two counties. Oh, come on. Let's see. You, you you have a big duchy somewhere here, don't you? That's three counties. It's not a lot. That is four counties. Good. Borgu. Borgu looking good. I think we'll go for Borgu. Okay, let's start our very first holy war. I am excited. How about you guys? I'm sure you are. So let's raise everyone here. And go fight these guys immediately. Well, I mean immediately isn't really exactly what I meant. Apparently. Apparently immediately has several interpretations. Great, and it, this will be one of those run-around situations where we will never catch anyone anyway. Okay, so what we want to do is we split. And we leave these here, and we send the other ones away. Oh yeah. Uh, no, we want to buy one of those stones to get us the lifestyle experience. We are soon dead. I I don't imagine we're gonna live very long. Ah, peasants. Mm, where and how many? Some and all over the place. Do we even have anyone to raise anymore? 27! Fantastic! Okay, let's add a bunch of mercenaries to that. We'll take care of it as that. That should be enough. Just good enough for us. So we'll finish both these sieges, then we go turn around and take them on to fight. And they just kind of vanished, and they are just kind of being beaten there. So we can send these guys here, potentially. Alright, okay, I'm gonna finish now, and we'll see you around next time. Thanks, bye-bye!